Yes. Hello. Welcome to NASCO Education Art Essentials. Now, um, I was told you are trying to stock a classroom with uh, art supplies. Is that correct? Okay. Of course, I can help you there. Now, what um, is it a whole a school, a department, just one classroom? What is the scale? Something's making rattling noises over here. Okay, so within the school, you have three art classes. And uh, what grades? Will they be covering three, four, and five? Okay. Is this a private public school? Okay. And approximately how many students are in each class? 20 to 25, okay. So you need approximately supplies for, let's see, um, good to round up. You could say 75, that gives you a little extra. So it's good to have extra. So we've got our catalog here, and um, are you starting totally from scratch, or do you have some things already? Just a few basic supplies. All right, well, and have they given you a budget? Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty, pretty good amount. Uh, we should be able to work within that. So, there's different ways we could do it. Um, we can go by the craft, like, or by the technique. Uh, will it be mainly you're doing all kinds of exploratory arts and crafts. Are you doing mainly uh, drawing and painting? Just open to anything. Lots of 3D stuff. Okay. I think that's a really great idea because I think that it's nice for the kids to be more, I think, physically involved with materials as well as just the two dimensional. Especially the rest of the day, they're kind of just sitting in the classroom. So more hands-on stuff is good. But we have basic classroom kits and supplies, um, paint, painting and canvas, paper, drawing, writing, ceramics and sculpture, printmaking, and crafts. And then we have the special summer school section, but um, you're, this is for starting in the fall, okay. What is making that noise? Something's making a noise over here. Do you want to start with the basics? How about if we do the basic classroom kit? That will stock you up on the most essential things that you would use in almost any kind of craft or any kind of artwork project. And then we can add on extras for different kinds of techniques and things. So uh, we'll check here, start on page 82. And you have a catalog yourself. Okay, we can look, follow along. So open up to page 82.
this doesn't look like what I was expecting. Sorry about that. And they redid the catalog recently. And they moved things around a bit. All right. Let's just keep going here. Got glues, scissors, tapes, guns. Paper storage. All right. Well, I guess they've removed the. Um, oh, here's some of the ready made kits. That's what I was looking for. It's page 96 and 97. All right, that's looking a little better. Ready made kits. So we've got, for instance, the uh, art supply basic classroom kit. We've got markers, watercolors, pencils, uh, felt pens, inks, papers. This is K through five, and so that will work well for your, you've got third, fourth, fifth, so. Um, and these are for. They don't say. Curl the marker, sharpen marker, pre sharpen pencils, erasers, glue, masking tape, watercolor sets, and tempera paint. So I would say um, one of these should be fine because this is based on K through 5. And that's a good uh, starter kit. It's in E2020-2001. Okay. Then they have the enhancements. So we've got Neon Art Supply Enhancement Pack, um, Metallic Art Enhancement Pack, Multicultural Art Enhancement Pack, Power of Art Supply Pack. That's K through 12. The rest are K through 5. Uh, this one has a lot of crayons. This one is a lot of bright colors, which a lot of the younger kids are really drawn to. Neon oil pastels, acrylic paints, watercolors, markers, tempura sticks, which is really nice. That, that stick version, art paper and colored pencils, and then we've got the metallics, which a little bit of the older kids love the metallics. Well, if you can afford it, I would probably get one of each. This would be good for the younger, and this would be good for the little bit older kids. You want to do that? Or these two pages, it looks good. This is cute, it's an architecture, little architectural kit. So you're good with those three. Okay, so that's, as I said, it's a good basics. So then. Your um, principal leave it pretty open to you in terms of your um, what types of projects you're going to do in your classroom. 
Mm -hmm. well, that's, that's really great. We've got the, these were the six categories again. Painting, paper, drawing and writing, ceramics and sculpture, printmaking and crafts. Are there any of those that appeal to you in particular for your curriculum? paper and the drawing and the painting. All right. So we get quite, don't forget quite a bit of these won't forget with your basic supplies. But to enhance it, let's see. Now, you can get the, um, these semi-moist watercolor sets are really nice. They're not as messy. Uh, they're good for travel. Like if kids go to different classrooms or they even can take them home, take them outside, like for a little field trip. You know, do you want to go outside and paint? And you can get individual sets. So you have one for each student. I really recommend those. This is another cute set, but that's not the um, it's not the semi moist. And these are really cute, nice little mini tins. You like these mini tins? Yeah. Well, it's nice because it has the cover. Where's these? Um, this does have the cover as well. Actually, this does not a hinged cover, whereas this is hinged. So that's something to think about. If it's not hinged, then they do tend to lose the covers. <laughs> yeah. You want to go with the hinged? Okay. So let's see. There's an eight color set. 12 or 24. If you get um, over 12, you get the discounted price 567 for the 12, 797 for the 24. So the 8, I think for the younger kids, the 8 is a good, perfectly good um, size, but it does not have the discount. You want to do the 12? Okay. So that's 973. And you want to do that for the fifth graders. So 20. You want to go with 20 sets? Okay. Yeah, you can always get more if you need to. And then paper. paper you can get little student packs because that basic kit does not come with the watercolor paper just the sketching paper mm -hmm. it's nice to have a little um, small block for each student and they feel like they can it's just theirs and they can tear off a sheet as they need it you can get a pad or you can get a block Yeah, for beginners, you know, you don't need to get the really expensive ones. Um, let's see, we've got the student watercolor pad. The blocks actually are a little bit more expensive. I think they're for maybe once you get into the junior high, high school age, you'll probably be okay with the pads. Mm -hmm. There's the Strathmore 300 series, it's a little more expensive for the younger kids. I think the student watercolor pads would be fine. It's five, um, 
discount is five dollars and five cents for the nine by twelve. So you want to get twenty-five of those. Twenty-five. Do you want to change the paints to twenty-five? So yeah, I might as well get the same amount for each. Okay. Five pads, nuts, nine, seven, three, one, seven, nine, three. All right, so that should take care of your um, introducing them to watercolors. You're probably not going to do acrylics till you know, maybe junior high or something. What about the, um, the crafts? Not so much printmaking. All right, you want to, to want to look at the crafts or the ceramics? This craft starts on page seventy-two. Let's see what we have. To watch. These are mostly kits, so you don't have to buy lots of individual things. Um, this is a math and science kit up at the top there. This is a sort of all-purpose general crafts kit. Includes pipe cleaners, pom-poms, googly eyes, beads, yarn, foam shapes, buttons, sequins, glitter, feathers, construction paper, felt pieces, and mini wood pieces. Yeah, it's really great all purpose. I mean, kind of like the basics to get you started. This is a nice one too, the math and science. This has things like um, craft projects, wax paper, special paints, I mean science experiment, um, supplies, tennis balls, mod balls. Glue sticks. Um, um, this is beaded sculpture. It's very one specific thing, plus the beads are probably not so good for the younger ones. Makerspace kits here, all the materials you need to create your first makerspace place and encourage students to explore and be innovative. That's it's like a huge kit. $450. Yeah. Not quite ready for the makerspace. There's a telescope kit. And what else? Now, here we have the individual things like glitters, wiggly eyes, pom poms. Uh, plastic straws, chenille, stems, or pipe cleaners as we used to call them. All kinds of buttons, styrofoam, craft sticks. You want to go with the basic kit, I think that's a great idea. Again, because you're kind of just building up your your supplies to begin the school year you can always add on if you think if you're going to do like a special project like oh we're going to make you know masks halloween or something then you can always do a quick order um, for special you know paper mache kits or masks um, templates and things like that so the nasco ultimate craft kit is 974 Two seven three nine, and this is correct. I would say um, it's two hundred dollars. You probably want to start with two since you've got three classrooms to deal with. Yeah, I would get two of these kits. They'll give you a lot to get started with. And once you're a customer of ours, uh, you do have the 
fast track ordering. So all you have to do is you can email me or my colleagues um, or just fill out the online form or however you want to contact us and you're on the fast track order. So basically you get ASAP rush shipping, uh, priority shipping and no extra charge. So again, like if it's a week from Valentine or you know, whatever, Valentine's Day, Halloween, <laughs> and you say, oh, I want to get something special, you know, usually um, a week is about all we need. We can get it shipped out to you within a week. Yes. All right, let's see. You mentioned also the, um, what else did you say? Oh, the ceramics. Fidge 50. Oh, this is basically, we've got basic Play-Dohs, modeling compound, modeling clay, modeling clay sets. This is um, non-drying, reusable vegetable-based formula. It does not stain like oil-based clay. So that's really nice. Uh, this is a sculpting and modeling kit. Probably not going to do too much sculpting. I would say it's probably going to be mostly hand modeling. So you're probably not going to need those tools just yet. The Crayola modeling clay is very nice. Non-hardening reusable clay. This is the oil based though. So this is one that's kind of become more in vogue because it does not have the staining qualities. I have a set of 24 colors. Do you want to do that? Mm, got um, black, blue, brown, green, light blue, light green, orange, pink, red, violet, white, and yellow. And you have two bars of each. Okay. So we get two sets of those. So in the Anything else you can? Um, did you have in mind? Yeah, sometimes just browsing through the catalog, then you realize, oh yeah, I wanted to get this or that. So we can just look through it. Got extra paint. Already did some paint, acrylics, brushes. You do have brushes in your basic kit, so um, you probably won't need any of those quite yet. you get your basic supply kit, you can assess if you need extra construction paper. And don't feel like you have to order like a whole ton of stuff at one time, you know, if you just want to call up and say, oh, I need, you know, three packs of construction 
blocks or something, we can send you that. So that's no problem. Framing, that's kind of fun. They get to frame their own artwork. Crayolas. I have boxes of 120. I think this is um, when we were kids. Most of us had the 24, some of us had the 64. I don't think I ever had a 64. <laughs> Certainly not 120. But it's nice for your classroom to get a big box like that sometimes. All kinds of markers. Colored pencils. I would wait for the colored pencils to maybe six, uh, junior high, six, seventh, and eight, eighth grade. That's a good time to start on colored pencil work. Eraser, Sharpies. Probably don't want to use those too much with the younger kids. Do that one day. Does your school have a, a um, wheel? No. These are glazes. of supplies. You don't have to have the wheel. There's only the hand work that you can do with clay and it's really a lot of kids like to get their hands into uh, modeling clay. Glitter sheets, yarns, they can be used for all kinds of things. Yeah, I would recommend just a yarn assortment to have in your classroom. You get different size ones. This one uh, is nice, 100% acrylic, 81 yards skein set of 15. That's a good sort of a starter one if you, you could go with that, but that's a huge amount. And these are sort of fancier yarns. Yes, I would recommend that one. Let's see. Want to do that? Four, six, okay. One, set. Threads. Pencils are probably all set for pencils. Scissors. We recommend having these uh, kid scissors if you don't have any of those. This the Fiskers are really nice. Yeah. You can get a pack of 24. You want to get two packs? Blunt tip pointed. I recommend the blunt for the ages of your kids. So, one, seven, eight, two, one. Mm. 
You're all set for glues. We've got the tacky glues. Fast drying, water based. Any storage, we've got paper roll of storage, construction paper storage, boxes are very handy. Okay, sounds like you have that under control. Pretty well set to get you started. Mm, so I will send up an invoice and we we'll get your email. is for fall but you want to set up your classroom before um, school ends this year that's understandable now, or we can do a delay and ship um, the week before school if you'll be there to receive it would you rather do that okay that way the stuff is a little bit fresher it doesn't make too much difference but we can do that. All right, so when you send back the invoice, um, tell us the date that you want the shipping um, sometime in August, all right? And then we will ship to receive it at that date at your school directly. Okay, thanks. It was really nice doing business with you. All right, see you next time.